Department of the United States. States. Yeah, this gentleman's had his hand up for a while. Though. Forget it. Change the pace a little bit, uh, Mr. Nolan. My question is uh, this uh, bill that the president signed regarding the uh, nuclear with Iran. Mm -hmm. Could you walk through that with me a little bit and uh, tell us how much notice we get when we want to go and check it out? Okay. Um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the nuclear uh, deal with Iran. Um, and I had uh, meetings with the uh, ambassadors from all the nations that were uh, a part of it. I attended numerous uh, classified uh, briefings. Um, I have lived in the Persian Gulf and uh, quite frankly did a lot of fishing there. Um, pretty good fishing, I must tell you. Um, and. Um, <coughs> Where we were at with Iran was they had enough uh, nuclear fissile material to build about a dozen bombs in anywhere from a couple of weeks to a couple of months prior to this agreement. Um, as a result of this agreement, they agreed to get rid of all of their fissile material, which we are now told they, they are. Uh, they had to pour concrete into uh, their uh, uh, plutonium processing uh, silos. Um, they had to get rid of uh, uh, two-thirds of their centrifuges. They had to allow cameras into um, all of their nuclear uh, facilities. And uh, they had to allow uh, 150, 160 uh, inspectors in there to inspect this uh, on a regular basis. And until all that was done and or is done, uh, none of the sanctions that related to that uh, could be removed. Now, all the other countries that were a part of this deal, uh, and everything I heard in my classified briefings, was that there was not a better deal. So we went from a period where Iran could develop a nuclear weapon, a dozen of them, in a matter of a couple of weeks or a month or two at most, to where now it would be at least a year. And we have the most elaborate inspection out there that we have ever had. Uh, no country has ever allowed that kind of intrusive uh, inspection. So the question then remains, are they capable of doing something secretly somewhere? Um, which theoretically they are. But I got to tell you, we got pretty good intelligence. And uh, they'd have a pretty doggone hard thing getting away with that uh, for any length of time. And so, you, you know, in, in, in politics, uh, as in life, it, it rarely is there a perfect choice. Um, in this case, everything I witnessed and saw, there was not a better deal uh, anywhere. So the other choice, which is what some people were advocating, is let's go to war. Let's go to war again. So how many people think want to afford a war um, uh, with, with Iran? I can tell you something else, having lived there, okay? The Iranian coast is all lined up with missiles. Short-range missiles, long-range missiles, Chinese missiles, Korean long-dong missiles. Um, and the other side of the coast is Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait, the Bahrain, that's all lined up with missiles. That's our missiles, okay? I can also tell you, um, you know, it, it, it's hard talking about some of this stuff because you got classified information. And, uh, Why wasn't NATO involved in that? Information that's, that's not uh, classified. So it, it's, um, I don't want to get, get in trouble here. <laughs> what I've been told is we have to be, we have to give them 15 days to 30 days before we go in and check that stuff. Um, that, that, that would be a secret facility. All of the existing facilities, it's 24 hour seven online cameras and inspectors everywhere. So we got it, we got a year to fix that. So the other alternative was to go to war. Go to war. And I tell you what, you blow up, you go and blow up the Persian Gulf, and uh, 
um, we've got serious problems, uh, big time problems, and sometimes, sometimes you have to take a chance on diplomacy. We've gone to war again, again, and again in the Middle East, and what has it produced? It's darn near bankrupt us, and uh, it has created uh, all kinds of problems here, there, and everywhere around the world. And so it's a judgment call. Uh, and I chose, in my case, to support diplomacy on this as an alternative to another Congressman, war. i got to stop you. We're, we've got about 20 minutes late already, so I'm sorry to folks who haven't got questions answered, but we got to get the Congressman moving to his next thing. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody.